Hi Star Wars fans and welcome to the channel. On today's video, Hot Toys, yeah, I'm going to do my top five Hot Toy pickups of 2023. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe and enjoy the video and a happy new year. Hi everyone, we're going to take a look at my top five Hot Toy pickups of 2023. So at number five is Django Fett. I love this Mandalorian. When it first came out, I wasn't very sure about it because it is very one tone, isn't it? Chrome, but when you see it out of the box and you see all the leather detail on all these pouches and ammo and the weathering, you can see all the weathering on here. All this, all, it's great. All the detail. It looks all nice and shiny, but look at that weapon. Awesome chrome weapon. Loving it. Gold tip, gold bits in the end. We take a look at the, the back, the jetpack here. This is the Warhead jetpack or Genosin Arena jetpack. Many different names. I do like this because it matches with the armor. Some people like the original sort of Boba Fett jetpack, but then I remember it, it got blown up, didn't it? So this is such a cool and an advancement in the jetpack, I think. I love it. it, looks so great. We can take a look at the uh, the gauntlet here, some of the really cool details. I love this, flames, darts, <laughs> awesome thing. One thing about Django Fett is the striking helmet. Look at that helmet, very simple, no dinks to it. This one does come with an alternate top, so you can take this top off. I can lift it and, whoa, and you can swap it over. I haven't got it. And it's got the dent on it to where he bangs his head when he walks in. The famous dent. <laughs> but yeah, such a cool looking helmet. The color, the two tone, the weathering. This is great. And of course, this is where it all started. Django was the clone template. Great piece. And I'm so happy I got it now in the collection. Okay, at number four is, of course, Qui-Gon Jinn. I love this face sculpt. Brilliant face sculpt. It's the only Qui-Gon we've had so far. And it's become really sought after now. And I don't know if we ever will see another one anytime soon. Of course, he's had his appearance cameo in the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. So it's made him more sort of sought after again. Comes with a poncho, some extra hands. I love this sort of weathered detail on the robe. Sort of a bit, a bit stained battle ready <laughs> I want to get in close so we can really see the details amazing spin it around got detail on the hair got it all tied up here in a little bunch I love it with the translucent lightsabers. They're actually cool when you can actually get them to light up, but I would wish they would actually make them slightly slightly different. There must be a, a better way of coming up with it. I don't know by putting some sort of white bit through the middle of it and then making it, I don't know. I'm not sure. There must be a, they'll, they'll, they'll find a way in the future to make these even look even better. But of course, when you put the battery through them, they look great, but they're not that bright, but there'll be ways in the future. But this is such an awesome, awesome figure. I always love looking at the boots. I just love the detail in these boots. Absolutely amazing. Just great how they actually make these. So good. Just got to be very worried about how, you know, they're going to start to crack and stuff. Just got to take so much care in these sort of fabric things. But yeah, just a nice simple Jedi. So the weather's all around the back. Got the belts. Excellent. Okay, my number three is Anakin Skywalker, Clone Wars. Now, after seeing Ahsoka recently, I just had to get one of these. I've seen a lot of these on eBay, and of course they come with the stat as well from the Clone Wars film. Was never that really interested, but for some reason, I had to get him now. It's, it's a very good face sculpt. It's very good, and it's sort of a different, the hair is a bit shorter, and of course, we. I say, I've seen it in Ahsoka now, that, that brilliant bit, and I think these have become more sought after now after that. This is the way of getting your 1 6 scale Anakin. Okay, there are, are other ones coming out probably, and there is a better one with really good hair, but this is absolutely amazing. You get the armor. Of course, there's a separate 
separate you get a deluxe version and you can take this piece of armor off and there is a cape or cloak the brown cloak cape but i like it in this sort of stance very simple changing of the you've got the jedi armor there he's got his glove as well and lightsaber this all comes like a wire in it so you can actually flex it see look at that and move it around so you get some some more action stance on it but yeah absolutely love this and he looks so good stood next to darth vader <laughs> And he's about the right size as well, so he doesn't look too small. When you you know you think putting him next to a Hot Toys Darth Vader, he'd look quite small, but he don't. It's very accurate, I think. Yeah, absolutely best one of the best finds this year. I definitely love it. Okay, my number two has to be Cad Bane. Oh, this was such a cool looking figure. And when he come up, popped up in Book of Boba Fett. Oh yes, definitely. He comes with like three different faces. You can have a real sort of uh, kind of <laughs> with his mouth open. I've got him sort of sort of like this. And he's nodding his head, you know, doing the old thing that they did in the Westerns. I'm a big Western fan. I love the Westerns. I love the good, the bad, the ugly, all the sort of uh, the fist and the dynamite films. But this is definitely... Uh, Definitely, he's a bit, people could, some people said he was a bit bland, all in, sort of kind of brown, you know, a bit boring, but oh, I love it, I love it. And all the detail on it, you can see all the badges, the metal, the buckles, the guns, and his gauntlets really do sort of stand out, they jump out because the rest of the costume is pretty brown. You've got this uh, breathing apparatus on the back as well, which you don't really sort of miss. But yeah, I love this gauntlet so good and his hat is loose and it's like a felt you take it off and you can show it's like a very nice felt it's very nice that just feels great put it back on he looks a bit odd without the hat <laughs> i don't know i just love it this love it. i just wish i need wish they do more aliens more we need more 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 aliens because i've got a soaker i've got cab bane but we need some more really cool aliens i love her decent greedo or hammerhead please need to make some more aliens one day you can get them on sideshow but they're so hard to get now and so expensive but this is such a cool figure i must do my boot shot <laughs> i do like looking at the boots you can see he's got loads of ammo and stuff on there one of the letdowns is they've sort of they cheap out with these i've said it before they cheap out with these bases it's a bit of a shame because that footprint is okay for certain things but say like a IG which I had to sort mine out and sand it down it's not the best but yeah try and keep the bases individual to the figures do a bit more with these bases please yeah what a great great alien All I'd say is, some people say the hat could do with being a little bit bigger. I think it's great, but if I know there's an animated one or cartoon version coming out, his hat does look so much better. But he looks good for a TV series. Okay, my number one is, of course, Snow Speeder Pilot Luke Skywalker. I think this is probably my favorite figure in my collection, probably. It just stands out. There's a lovely clash of different oranges. You don't notice it until you see it, but there's definitely a different clash in oranges, which I like, and it's right in the film. But it's just the just the detail of this here, the grubbing. I mean, I, I'm a person who loves the weathering, and the grubbiness here is great. They just don't care. They've gone where it looking worn and where it gets rubbed up here. It's darker up here with the vest, the flat jacket, or whatever would rub. The face on this is absolutely amazing. Of course, what you can do is this hel helmet separates into three pieces. You have to take the, the, the mohawk apart, then you separate the helmet, and then you can put hair on him. <laughs> you got to take this piece out as well. So it's, it's a bit of a faff about to change him, but this is how they get away with it. And this visor can come all the way down, up and down if you want. 
But I just, this is such a good thing. That compound here is so, look at the detail. Clean, very retro, early, late 70s, early 80s. I love it. Just screams it, doesn't it? Okay, I'm going freehand now. We're going to look around this awesome, awesome figure. Let's get the foot shot in, the boot shot. <laughs> They're great. You think they'd get a bit wet, wouldn't you? <laughs> Being in the snow. You'd think they'd uh you think they'd be wearing sort of more of the snow trooper boot, wouldn't you? That's definitely more of a, a better boot, I would say, for being in the snow. Look at that gun. Look at that cool gun. Now every time you always see Luke with the lightsaber, and I think, oh let's get him with the blaster, it just looks so much better. And Luke the saber's there. These I love these gauntlets as well. I think these are welders gauntlets. A nice bit of calm on there. Look at that grubbiness. Look at the grubbiness on it. All the weathering on the helmet. Definitely one of my favourites. This is just the so good. Oh, look at those lovely pouches. This is such a nice stand as well. Look at that. It projects him away and holds him. You want it as, as thin and as good, as strong as possible. So you're just concentrating on the figure. You can hardly see it. Love it, I love these straps, detail, absolutely awesome. And when the light hits his eyes, it just brings him alive. See that? He's, yeah, so good. Well, there you go. There's my little appreciation to these brilliant hot toys. Thank you everyone for watching my top five pickups of 2023. Thank you very much. I just want to say a big thank you to all my patrons, my channel members, all my subscribers. Thanks for leaving all those great comments. Thank you everyone for continuing to watch me this year. I want to say a happy new year to everyone. Just so great. And I'll just, I'll try to keep on doing these great videos. I just, I still love doing YouTube and all the people I've sort of met and it's great. And I still get a kick out of people occasionally when I'm at events coming up to me and saying, oh Matt, I watch your channel. And it's great. It's really great. Thank you everyone. So, yep. I will see you on the next video in 2024. Bye.